brothers and sisters, how's everyone tonight? Yes. Praise the Lord, thank you for coming tonight. Welcome to Christ the Healer International Fellowship. We are so blessed to see you tonight, praise God, and we are so blessed. Every time you come, every Friday, we come together as a family of God. We come together as people of God and we come together as servants of the mighty living God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I promise you, you will be blessed tonight. Amen. Amen. Receive it. Hallelujah. I promise you, you will be blessed tonight because in the presence of God is fullness of joy. Amen. In the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy and everyone will not leave empty-handed. You will be blessed. Amen. Your prayers will be answered tonight by our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a clap of praise. He deserves it. Hallelujah. He deserves the highest praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before we start, I want you to shake hands with your brothers and sisters. Give them a big smile. Praise God. Hallelujah. Left and right and tell them, thank you for coming tonight. You bless my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> the church is the doorway of heaven to pour out the blessings. Amen. Anointing comes through the church. Anointing comes to the people. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding comes through the church. <laughs> blessings and grace and prosperity comes through the church. You will not find it in but half. Or wherever you are, every Friday night, praise God. All the blessings come through the church. Amen. Because the church is the body of Christ. Amen. The blessing comes through Christ Jesus, our Lord, our God. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you come to the church, you will be blessed. Amen. Wisdom is very important. You make wise decisions through the wisdom coming from the Holy Spirit. And you will receive wisdom after wisdom after wisdom from the church from the Holy Spirit and you become full of the wisdom of God the Bible says sell everything you have and get wisdom because wisdom is supreme Amen. everything you need comes from the wisdom of God praise God so it's very important to receive wisdom from the Lord every Friday evening give the Lord a clap of praise <laughs> okay put the title on the screen we'll start are you ready Amen. Amen. Say, I am, I am blessed in the name of Jesus. Name of Say, Jesus. I am healed. I am, healed. I am strong. I am healthy. I am wise. I am smart. I am rich. I am highly favored. I am the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I will listen to the word of God. Therefore, I will be blessed. You will be blessed. Everybody will be blessed. Beyond measure. In Jesus' name. Everybody say. Amen. Give the Lord a clap of praise. Message for tonight is entitled, Be Great. Before what? <laughs> Be great today, tomorrow, the coming days, the coming weeks, the coming months, the coming years, before you die. Mamaya, namatay ka, wala ka nang na-accomplish sa Panginoon. So be great before it's too late. Let's open our Bibles in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 20. Put it on the screen so that everybody can read it, praise God. 20 to 21. In a great house or in a large house, that's the same word, okay, great and large. In a great house, there are articles not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. And some are for noble purposes and some for ignoble or not noble, praise God. 21st, if a man cleanses himself, tell your neighbor, if you cleanse yourself, okay, from the latter, he will be an instrument for noble purposes, made holy, useful to the master, and prepared, 
Tell your neighbor, be prepared, be prepared. to do all good works. Praise. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, in a great house, there are different kinds of articles. There are different kinds of people. The great house does not make you great. The great house does not make you great. But in that great house, there are great people, there are noble people, and there are people who are not great, who are not noble. Praise God. In that house, there is a person who is compared to a gold and silver. They are the great people. They are the hardworking people. They are the people that stand in the middle of trials and challenges and difficulties. You can see them. They're still standing. They're still there. Praise God. Amen. They are not absentees. Amen. These are the great people in the eyes of God. Amen. These are the great people in the eyes of God. Hallelujah. If you cleanse yourself from all those impurities, if you remove from your life all those worldly thinking and worldly thoughts and worldly desires, then you will be used by the Lord. You will be a good instrument for noble purposes. Magagamit ka ng Panginoon sa mga magagandang bagay na kanyang pinaplano sa iyong buhay. God cannot use a dirty person. God cannot use a lazy person. God cannot use an uncommitted person. Praise God. God use those people who are gold, praise God, and they're gold noble, noble people in the eyes of God. Hallelujah. Noble people in the eyes of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today I'm going to tell you what greatness is not. What greatness is not. Greatness is not inherited from the parents. It doesn't mean to say now when your parents are great, you are great already. No. I want you to remember that. Greatness is not inherited. There are so many people who are children of great people and great men, but the children are not great. Hello. Oh, I'm a child of so and so. I'm a child of a billionaire. It doesn't make you great. You will have to do your own greatness. You will have to perform your own greatness. Praise God. So greatness is not inherited. Not because you are a child of Dr. Jose Rizal, you become great. No. Not because you are a child of Andres Bonifacio, you are great already. No. Greatness is not inherited. You will have to work for it. You will have to work for your own greatness. Not because you are a child of a president makes you great. No. Are we getting this? Yes. You will have to work your own greatness. So greatness is not inherited. Hindi po ito napapasa na because I am great and then you are, you are my child, you become great, I will pass on to you the baton of greatness. No. It cannot happen. Are you getting this? You will have to work out your own greatness. Praise God. Second, greatness is not by birth also. Because you are a child of a king, you are great already. No. It doesn't make you great just because you are a child of a king. Or you are a child of a billionaire. Or you are a child of a great inventor. It doesn't make you great. It's not inherited by birth. You cannot get it by birth. You will have to work it out. You will have to work it out. Look, do you know the children of Bill Gates? Who knows the children of Bill Gates? Nobody knows about the children of Bill Gates. But Bill Gates is a great inventor. Hello? Amen. You understand this? Amen. But Bill Gates is a great inventor. But nobody knows about the children of Bill Gates. Why? Because greatness is not inherited by birth also. It doesn't come by birth. Because you will have to work it on your own. Greatness also is not because you are talented. There are so many people who are talented but they are not great. Why? Because their life 
their living does not conform to the law of God, to the will of God. There's so many people who are skilled, basketball players, great basketball players. But it doesn't make them to become great person. There's so many basketball players who are good players, they're skilled players, they're good scholars, but they're not great people. Why? Because outside the court, they're not great people. They're bad people. They're irresponsible husbands. They're responsible employees. So skills doesn't make you a great person. Does not come from your skills? They have bad attitude, bad character. We have one great boxer in the Philippines during <laughs> the many years before. But outside the ring, he's a drunkard. He's a drunkard. Who knows Navarrete? Only Kuya Raymond knows that. <laughs> and Kuya Cesar? This guy is a great boxer. He's well known, right? Amen. But outside, he's a drunkard. He was put to jail and so on. It doesn't make him great just because he's a great boxer. And there are so many great basketball players who are drug addicts also. They're on drugs. It doesn't make them great. So greatness cannot be achieved through your skills also. Can you say amen? amen? Not because you are skilled, you are great. Okay? Next, greatness is not through popularity. It's not through popularity. There are so many popular movie stars. Diba? We, we, we know many movie stars. They earn a lot of money. They are superstars. They have so many films. They're great, okay? But outside the film, in their real life, they are drunkards. They are drug addicts. They are bad people. So it doesn't make them to become a great person. Though you are a superstar, though they are being adored by so many people, when the people see them, ah, 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 but in real life, they are not good people. They are bad people. They are irresponsible people. So greatness is not also achieved through popularity. Greatness also is not cheap. You cannot be great by living a cheap life. Yung mga irresponsable pamumuhay. You cannot be a great person. Because greatness has a price. Greatness has a price. Tell your neighbor, greatness has a price. Greatness has a price. Praise God. Great soldiers are not those soldiers sa mga pulis patola. Great soldiers. You know, greatness come out when everybody is dying and everybody is running away from the enemy, but you retain, you, you retain your post, you maintain your post and defend your country. That is greatness. This is greatness. So greatness is not cheap. You cannot be a great Christian being, you know, you come, you're absent. You come, you're absent. You come, you disappear. You come, you disappear. You cannot be a great Christian. The Lord will not appreciate that kind of service. Amen? A great person, a great Christian, is a Christian who serves the Lord in spite of any criticism or anything that's happening in the church or anything that's, you know, the people are mocking him and persecuting him. Oh, pupunta ka na naman sa church, ang gagawin mo dyan, etc., etc. But you still continue to come to the church. This shows greatness on your part. Being a Christian is not easy. Amen. Tell your neighbor, being a Christian is not easy. Being a Christian. Many people will mock you. Many, Many people, people will persecute, persecute you. you. Amen. 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 Trials and challenges will come. But if you survive, you are a great Christian. Amen. If you survive all those trials and challenges and difficulties, we need to survive it. Amen. 
Because greatness is not cheap. 